Hi everyone, it's uh, Johnny C here again. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago I posted a video that I had shot in August of 2016 of Preston Market. And I got a message from somebody saying, why don't I go back there and film it now it's been new and improved. So here it is. As you might be able to see here, they've uh, installed some of these little cabin stall things. Um, now I've only ever seen maybe one or two of them open at any one time. So it's a bit of a shame. This is now the new indoor market, which is quite snazzy. I didn't film any of it today. I'm sure there's millions of videos out there already of the new market. But this is what they call the second-hand market, which happens on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's not quite a car boot. Uh, you have to pay for a stall. And the stuff on there isn't quite the same as what you'd find on car boot sales. Um, mainly people selling uh, antique collectible stuff. Uh, stuff they've got from wholesales, etc. So see the vast amount of pepper pegs. So I was here looking for records, but I had a bit of a browse around at some of the other stalls as well. Just to see what they had. A box full of annuals. Never really got into the Beano. I was more of a crazy comic and Wizard and Chips reader when I was a kid in the 70s. This was very early, actually. Yeah, I got here about uh, half nine-ish. Okay, not that early, but the album's about half eight, so fairly early. Some vintage toys, die-cast cars, etc. And some of this train stuff in boxes. Figurines. <laughs> and a cackling witch. Now there was a guy there selling some records, but there was a, a geezer stood in front of that bucket um, pretty much the whole time I was there. But I'd been to this market a few weeks ago and I'd checked out that box. So I'd have, unless I'd got something new, there wasn't really anything in there worth having a look at. The Demi Johns. No idea what this was. App player game. Brand new inbox. I was curious as to what was in these crates. It was all e-liquids. Or vapes. <laughs> uh, more stuff that looked like it had been pulled out of a skip. I guess it's all relative. Could be something in there if someone really wants. I'm going to have a quick look at some of these books. There's some very old books. Yeah, I like the uh, the cover on this. Looks pretty good. When I opened up. It's actually from Fleetwood, my old town, where I used to live. I 
That was from 1927. And some more shots to the floor. And I finally found the records. But this guy, I had a quick chat with him. He said he was here every Thursday and he had some good stuff actually, at a decent price. And I did actually buy something, which we'll uh, come to in a minute. Yeah, I would have got rumours if it wasn't a tenner. Yeah, a bit above my budget. <laughs> I'll probably will end up buying that someday. It's a record I need to own on vinyl. That looked pretty good as well. Compilation, heavy metal. Demon I've never heard of. Dokken, yeah, I remember them. They're German, aren't they? Alright, some Bowie. 15 squid. Frankie. That's Bravo. So I don't know who they are, but it was 20 quid. And you know, there's the Easy Rider that I've got a very duffed up copy of. An ELP LP. Mud. I did have a look at this. One of my favourite songs of all time is Tiger Feet. Absolutely love that track. Born free and then caged. So yeah, I did buy this ZZ Top album for five pounds. It's in a fantastic condition. I thought I'm having that for a fiver. New Beatles Blue Comp. Now I had a ton of Van Halen. Oyster Cult. So as you can see, some good stuff for around the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pound mark. I will certainly be going back here. The Eurons, never heard of them. Yeah, this is the collection of oldies, the Beatles compilation from the early seventies, I think it is. Flamencool. Yeah, more Van Halen. And I got that as well. Fire of Unknown Origin. That's going to turn up on a video soon. Now, look, I should have got this actually with the, the Anthrax one. I don't know how I missed it. You can see that I just kind of whizzed past it, but. If it's still there next time, I'm going to pick that up. Kingdom Come. Thunder, that's the uh, Backstreet Symphony, the album I was, I mentioned in my t-shirt video.
Robert Plant. Never really got into 80s Robert Plant. What was that one they did uh, that was uh, late 80s? It was one good song. I'll uh, have to look it up. Tempted to get the Two Tribes on as well. And that's something I should have gone back and got as well, that Raven album. I'm not sure that's... I don't what condition it was in. It was possibly worth a bit more than he was asking. Gary Moore and Phil Lynott together at last. Some Genesis. Never really got into Genesis. And another one I was tempted to get as well. Darling Buds. Great, great songs from there. A couple of great singles from the Darling Buds. I've not heard the album, though. Plenty of Def Leppard, anyway. Fergal Sharkey. I once got a rejection letter from Fergal Sharkey. He was an A&R man. I can't remember what company he worked for, but the band I was in sent him a demo and he sent a very polite thank you, but no thank you letter. Uh, Bonnie M got that one. This uh, the old guy, the guy who just said captain then, I don't know if you can just have a listen to what he's saying. I'll uh, I shall repeat if you can't hear it. This guy there, he's saying, have you seen a guy walking around with badges on? Because uh, he used to be a drummer in a skiffle band that they were in. It sounds like it says 1972, but I don't know if 1962 might have been more skiffle era. <laughs> Another copy of Mud Rock. And a Bangles album again, tempted that. I think this is the first Bangles album. For a fiver. Hmm. Yeah. Might go back and get that. So some good stuff here. He had about five crates. Uh, three of which had good stuff in. Well, two of which had good stuff. And one was that one there. It was semi-good stuff. And then the last two were a bit more of your, your standard charity shop stuff. So I didn't bother looking through all them. So I went wandering off. Looking at some more tat. And I found this other stall here. It had a ton of records. And I did spend a good 25 to 30 minutes. And despite this being the beginning of May, it was very cold. There was a bit of a wind blowing and he had absolute garbage. Although I did pick up one album. Yes, <laughs> Wilhelm Furtwangler. Fantastic. And didn't he play for Cameroon? Uh-oh. 
And the second greatest name, Tony Monopoly. I wonder if you ever did a duet with uh, Tony Cluedo. Speaking of board games. Yeah, so I did pick up the one album from that, uh, Stoll, which is a Steve Miller Band LP. I will put up a picture of it right here. Lenticular dragon. Oh, this kind of box of VHSs. Okay, so uh, while I was in the area, I just had a look in the uh, museum. Just thought I'd tack the footage on the end here. Some human skulls. And a really big elk. And just a bit more of a Charity shop footage, I've uh, tacked something in here, this is um, a couple of weeks ago. Found a Stones book. Thought I'd see what they were doing around about the time I was born. <laughs> and here we are, 1970, December. And I think that's the closest date to my birthday. Not quite my birthday, but Keith Richardson was holding a party just after I was born. The two things were not related. And for all our overseas viewers, <laughs> if you're wondering what British charity shop record selections are usually like, this is a, a typical uh, example. Anything I'm here you'd like? I think these are all about a pound as well. Regardless of quality or condition. Bit of Doddy. <coughs> Did he? Oh, how was this ever acceptable, really? Let's just have a call. <laughs> and this is something I took a picture of and put on Instagram. Uh, what are the probably the creepiest album cover I've ever seen? And that's your lot. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And don't ask me why Del Boy's car was in Preston, <laughs> but it was.